hello guys in this video we're going to continue from where we left off in the last video so this was what we did okay so now i i turn off the sketch you can see this is the sketch okay so now we're going to make the eyes have that 3d look okay so let's just bring this down so this is the reference image that we have okay you can just zoom out and then zoom this out as well so to do this we've created a number of groups so we can turn this off okay we can see it's right here so to start i'm going to create let's see what we have here okay i think it's this okay so that's fine okay so this is it here so we're going to create a new layer above this so now all we need to do is just to apply highlight and shadow to give it that 3d look so we're going to start with this eye okay so to either move left or right you can just hold on control key on your keyboard and then the scroll wheel on your mouse to move to the left or to the right okay so if you want to move up and down you don't need to hold anything so just the scroll wheel will help make it to move up and down so if you want to zoom out as usual you need to hold alt and then the control wheel again okay on your mouse so it's easier if you're using um, a mouse so don't use the trackpad on your system that will that will be um, that will make things a lot difficult for you so ensure you have a mouse that you're working with so with that out of the way so we're going to start with the top eyelid which is this so to do that is simple we just get this in position uh, and then now we're going to start so now that we've created a new layer so all i need to do I'll press I on the keyboard to get the color picker so I've selected the color around here so you can see it here so to darken this I'll move diagonal okay so whenever I want to darken always move diagonal okay and when you want to create a highlight you can then move directly upward like so so I'll move it slightly like this okay so that's fine so i'll come back here and i'll start the painting so let's increase the size of our brush you can see what we have we can paint right here now you can see that we are having using a hard round brush now that is not what we want we'll just go back and select a soft round brush so on the general brushes we we'll select this soft round brush okay and then we can increase the size thereof so the beauty of this is we need to reduce the opacity and the flow as well so with that out of the way we can now start painting okay so if you feel this is not too dark enough and again ensure you change this from multiply to from normal to multiply very important okay so i think the flow level and the opacity is fine i will just reduce this into paint around here so you can see around here it's a lot dark so we're going to focus our energy around here okay so we're going to increase the size of the brush with the left angle bracket okay so that's that's fine so now i'm going to just paint around here okay let's undo I'm actually looking at here let's undo a couple of times we need to darken around here 
so that's what we're going to do now I'll reduce the size of my brush I'll just paint over this side like so if we're not getting it right you can always undo okay so I'll undo again and then I think we should reduce this so let's try it again okay so that's that's a lot better okay so this time around I will increase the flow to 43 to 44 you mustn't be exact you can try yours to see which one is better so when to get this thick line around here so let's see let's reduce the size of the brush again okay so we're going to move this way okay so let's undo now this is more or less like a freehand sketch so most times i'll make a mistake and then i'm going to press the undo just to get me to start it all over again okay so this is good to go i think this is good enough okay i feel it's not too too good let's do it this way okay my hands are not as steady as it was yesterday i don't know why but then it's fine we we'll still manage to do this okay so that is um i think this is better okay we can still darken it further out but then i'll reduce the size of the brush and then we're going to move in it like so okay so that's good okay if there is need for us to erase it later we have the eraser tool to help us to do that this place is a lot dark so we're going to darken it around here you can see that it's dark okay so that's what i am doing okay so usually we'll do this we'll zoom out and zoom in you can see there's highlight here but then we'll leave the highlight we'll save the highlight for later okay so this is good so i'm going to increase the size of my brush i'm going to reduce the opacity this much and to paint around here okay around here like so so that's fine you can see around here as well we'll still need to reduce the size of the brush and then i feel the flow is much so we're going to paint around here let's reduce the size of the brush this way let's zoom out to see what we have I think as much okay let's increase the size of the, the brush and to paint again okay I think the f flow is much okay so let's zoom out to see okay so i think we have some highlights so let's click around here so that's fine then we're going to go 
up like so and still add more okay so we're going to walk around the highlight so it's from this this points so let's reduce so starting from around let's increase it let's change this to screen okay so this is it so now we are adding the, the highlights Okay, so you can see we're making a whole lot of progress with the highlight added, but then we have to be a lot careful while adding the highlights. Add it around here, so it means that place is going to be bright in a bit. Okay, so that's good. Right in here too. okay so now we're going to go back to our darkened side and then we'll move to the shadow so this is multiply this is screen so screen is more or less highlights okay then the multiply is just to darken we've actually looked at all this in some of the previous videos we've done so if you haven't watched them, please, I'll advise you do so to make things a lot easier for you. Okay, so we're going to do the lower eyelid. So we'll start with the shadows as usual before we move to the highlights. And to paint around here. Okay, so we're going to paint here. Let's see. So this is more or less the lower eyelid. you can see it has a lot of lots of highlights okay so we just switched over to uh oh let me I made a mistake let's click and then click okay so that's fine so let's select this so we have the highlight around so this is the shadow, always move to screen if you want to add highlights. So we're going to move around here. And then we're going to paint. Okay, so this bit of highlight around here too. Okay, let's increase the flow and the opacity to see what we will have. Around here. Okay. Let's see what we have. So we're going to go over to the other part of the eyes, which is this end. Okay, so we'll just select this. So this is it. 
okay let's press v let's select this okay let's create two layers in it so we're working on this part of the eye now okay so i'm going to do this so we're more or less repeating the same thing we did here on this eye so don't be need for a key i think i move this slightly let me undo a couple of times okay so now i think it's okay so i actually move the face unknowingly so i'm going to pause to work on this part of the eye. Okay, so guys, we're going to walk around the pupil and the eyeball, so let's get into it. So when you look at this eyes, you can see it has a reflection and beneath there's a brown color around here and a very dark with a touch of blue on it. So we're going to see how we can achieve that in this. So we're going to start with selecting this color and then we just move down a bit like so. And the opacity, we just set it to 91, 94, the flow 94 is still fine. And then you can leave this as normal. So let me just delete this. Okay, and then let's create a new layer. So we're going to paint. So you can still see this is a lot bright. So let's just darken it further. Okay, so something like so. It's fine. Okay. So that is good. Okay, so we're going to add blur to this. Go to blur, Gaussian blur. Okay, 2.6. I feel 2.6 is fine. Okay, so we're going to add new layer. And this time around, we're going to darken this further. Like so. Okay, so let's create a new layer. So you can see we're fond of creating lots of layers. Okay, so we're going to add this very bright part. I just select this and then make it completely white it's still fine so we're going to add this part the eyes and then increase the flow this way okay so we're going to increase
Okay, so let's just increase this. Let's reduce it a bit. Reduce it. Okay, so something like that. Okay, so that is that's fine. Okay, so let's walk around here as well. So most of these things will still have to come back to it to make adjustments. Okay, we're going to select any color around this. Let's pick this. Then we just move it this way. You can see what I have here. So I'm going to paint inside. So let's reduce the, the size and then I'm going to reduce the flow and the opacity as well. So I'm going to paint like so. see what we have so let's switch and then we're going to paint around next undo okay um I think we need to darken some part let's just move this upward and then I'm going to darken some part around here. Okay, so I actually moved a layer. When I close it, you can see the layer that we have. We have moved up. It's actually this brown layer. Okay. So now that we've done that, you can see what we have right here. So let's add a bit of gray in it. Let's move up this way. So we're going to reduce the opacity this much and the flow as well. And we'll start painting. Okay, so we're going to stop here on this eye. So we're going to move here. Let's start with this part. Let's select V so that we know the exact layer. So I'm going to create a new layer above it. Increase the the opacity and the flow. Increase the size of your brush. Okay, so you can see what we have. Let's darken this this much. Okay, so on this eye as well, let's select Ctrl V. Okay, let's add another layer above this, or we can bring it down this way. Okay, so press B. Okay, so we're going to start with the very dark brown. 
I'm going to paint around it like so. Okay, then we're going to blow it, Gaussian blow. Okay, so that's fine. Create a new layer. Then we're going to paint it black. Let's see. Okay, we're going to paint black around here. Okay, let's try adding blue. Blue around there, let's see. Let's reduce the flow and the uh, opacity okay so we're going to add the white part which is this you can create a new layer we're going to add Increase it. Okay, so let's bring down the opacity this much. Okay, this is not looking too good. Let's reduce this part. I'm going to add it like so. Okay. So now I feel we need to just reduce the opacity. I'm going to add a bit of brown on the white part just to darken it a bit. Okay, so if there is need for us to correct it much later, I think we're going to do it. So, but then let's go back to the lips. So, in the next video, we're going to see how we can work on the lips. So, see you guys then.